Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Before we get started with the video, I just wanted to announce that we have reached half of our fundraising goal. Yes, we raised $500 out of 1,000 for NAMI, AKA the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It's not even halfway through, through Vlogmas yet and I'm so excited to say that. So if you haven't donated yet, please do. Even if it's a dollar, if it's $5, I don't care. It's going towards a really good cause and something that is very near and dear to my heart. I'm so happy that we are halfway to our goal. And to celebrate, let's make some cookies, okay? On with the video. Hello, everyone. We are in the kitchen again, which can only mean chaos is about to ensue. Okay, I am making red velvet chocolate chip cookies today. I have done these before, many times actually. And I will leave the link to the recipe down below because I can't make one on my own. I need to use Pinterest, like a smart person. <laughs> All right, first things first, I need to whisk the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt together in a large bowl and set it aside. We can do that. There's a mess in front of me already. Here's hoping that my camera doesn't overheat again. One and a half cups and a tablespoon of flour. fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. Why do you have to put so much food coloring in? Because it's brown and it doesn't like hold its shape or hold the color. Oh. But, which tells me that this is not in fact real red velvet because real red velvet is a chemical reaction. I need fourth a teaspoon of salt. Well, we don't have a fourth of a teaspoon. It's a one-quarter portion. We have half of one, and I'm gonna do a half of that. There's like- You have a one-quarter. Where? One-quarter portion. Um, well, maybe we didn't. Maybe it got lost, like everything else in my It got lost. That's okay. Someone decided to put it in a different place. I need to warm up the butter because I'm an idiot and didn't take it out soon enough to prep. I'm going to do that in, well, actually, it's pretty soft already. It must be hot in here. Well, I guess I don't have to do that. All right, let me get the big, heavy stand mixer. Oh, sweet Jesus. What? This thing weighs a thousand pounds. Okay, so the step is Beat the butter on high speed until creamy for about one minute. We can do that. Oh wait, I need the paddle. <laughs> okay, this locked in, I swear to God, every time I use this, somehow this bowl thinks it's appropriate to go flying. Okay, that's there. This is one fourth of a cup. Ew, ew. Get off, get off, get off. Touching butter is gross. One, then two. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could make this vegan. I don't have the brain capacity for that right now, nor the ingredients for it. But if you did in your house, you could do that. Is this lopsided? Yes, 110%. Beat in the brown sugar and granulated sugar until combined and creamy. I love the smell of brown sugar more than I like the smell of vanilla extract. Just gonna throw that out there. All right. One. Oh, I might have just enough. Two. Three. Okay. Yeah. Just enough, baby. And I need a fourth of a cup of regular sugar. All right, and now we mix. This is overheating. Make sure we are locked in, and then we're gonna do that slowly. Okay, next we are gonna beat in the egg, milk, and vanilla extract. So where's the egg? People keep saying not to crack it on the edge of things and crack it on the table. I think it does the same thing. I used to be able to do it one-handed. I seem to have since lost that skill because I stopped eating eggs in their full form. Oh, please 
no eggy shells. No eggy shells, we're good. Blech. Gross. For a second I got scared and thought I added too much flour, which I've done before, which is always a fun time. And then I need two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One, two. Usually I'd say measure with your heart, not with baking. Baking is a science. Now we're gonna load this up again and we're gonna use my phone camera to get a close up. Okay, so the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of gel food coloring, but the last time I made these, I used gel food coloring and it didn't work out in my favor. So I'm gonna use this one. Hopefully it's a bit more potent because I had to use like a whole tube of gel food coloring and that's just like, kind of a lot, not gonna lie. So we'll see how this goes. Gonna mix it and then we slowly add the dry ingredients, which is really hard to film. Oh, my thumb is red. That doesn't look like someone got murdered. Not at all. So here's what's going on. Um, I want, because when they bake, they turn a little bit brown, so I want these a little bit, just a little bit redder. I'm gonna add, and the cookie dough is like super thick, so I'm gonna add like a splash of milk just to help with the, the red food coloring blending in. Really, you need more like a full teaspoon to make this red. So let's see how my plan turns out. Immediately better, immediately better. Look. Just wanna make sure it's fully mixed and then I'll add the chocolate chips. Before I put the cookies in the oven, I'm gonna clean up this. So I'm gonna cover this and chill it while I clean this up and then I will put them in the oven for about 11 minutes. Parchment paper, not wax paper. I had a family member say that they nearly burned their house down recently because of wax paper and not parchment paper. Maybe one day I'll accurately measure it, but today is not that day. I wish I had a melon baller to like make perfectly even little scoops, but alas, we're just gonna use a big spoon. Cookies are out of the oven. They're cooling off. This one was from the first batch. I hope there's chocolate chips in here. Let's take a bite. Shit. They're so good. They're really cakey. You should try making these. When my mom comes downstairs, I'll have her taste test one. Here, I can hold it. Like, no, I can hold it. I just put it there. I'm just short, so everything works in my favor sometimes. I wish they were redder. This seems so wrong. You're getting my chest and not my here, how's that for you? I just worked out for an hour and now I'm gonna have red velvet cookies. So, December, who cares? Mm. Are they post on it? Or not to just a melty chocolate chip? Melty chocolate chip. Mmm. Ah. Needs milk. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All cookies need milk. They're cakey. Brian likes the cookies too. They were delicious. Oh, this one. Oh. So I didn't sit very well after this workout for an hour. Well, not that they're not good. That's like a bite left. I know, but I literally just mm. finished it. Mm. They're really good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. 